Yeah, so we did pass that one green to green, didn't we? Yes, because he forced it. Yes, I was going to say, he forced that decision, because although you tried to do it red to red... Um, he tucked in front of me, and being on starboard tack, he has priority. Correct. So, we've got another one coming up, another yacht coming up, but um, we will be red to red as... Um, as required by coral rigs. As required by coral rigs, but... Basically, we're having a quick. Uh, Are we talking to the cameras at all? Yes, I'm. I well, didn't know that. It was me giving off. <laughs> green to green but in our little uh, cockpit companion that we have <laughs> it says green to green red to red perfect safety go ahead so we were perfectly safe so we went ahead Today, I really got the short end of the stick. I moved the boat about ooh, a nautical mile. A nautical mile. Basically, Bangor Marina is just over there behind us. Yeah, so basically, all we've done is we've left Bangor Marina and we've come round the corner to Ballyhome um, Bay. Um, it's Even though these are I would say these are kind of like our home waters now. Uh -huh. We've never actually anchored in Belfast Lock. It seems like a nice enough anchorage and we can see sandy beaches, so we're assuming that means we've got a sandy bottom. Well, the anchorage, not me. <laughs> and, um, Beverly needs to do some more swimming to get some sandy bottoms. <laughs> I don't want a sandy bottom. No. And um, so um, we're just hoping the wind is meant to come from that direction, which is where the beach is. And, um, there's not much swell, and even if swell does come in, it shouldn't be coming from that direction. Hmm. But um, there's a, a huge cruise liner um, just uh, anchored outside uh, Bangor at the moment. You sort of got to swerve to miss it. And um, we and it's called the, the world. world. So um, Beverly and I are sort of like we haven't decided which one we prefer the better best. Come to Bangor and see the world. Exactly. From Bangor, you can see the world. Yeah, you can see the world from Bangor. <laughs> <laughs> As the sun uh, goes down behind, uh, to the side of me, I have to say, so far this evening has been really nice here at Ballyhome Bay. Fantastic for people watching. Um, it's a, a, 
Yacht Club night uh, at Bangor. So I've seen lots and lots of um, yachts with the sails out and I love seeing yachts with all their sails out. And then um, looking over to the bay itself, just watching people uh, run and play on the beach. So if you're a people watcher like I am, then brilliant. Um, I would say though that I would make sure if you were he coming here, um, keep an eye on the sea state um, because we're getting a little bit of rock from motorboats, that kind of thing, coming up and down. But obviously, you know, you are open to the lock. So any sea state on the lock, and this could be rather bouncy, but for people watching, it has been really, really good. Again, is always buying cloth patches and things, and um, she came up with this. And I have an objection to it because I disagree with it. Hmm. Basically, the saying is, it's not the destination, it's the journey. And I think as we travel along, um, you know, we're sharing our journey with you, the viewers. Um, we rarely put in anything about the destinations that we go to, purely because when we do, the stats, nobody watches. Our statistics just go, and then we get to the bit where we're doing a walk around a town or a forest or a woodland trail or something, and it just goes, then back up again to when we start sailing. So it has sort of put us off, including things off the boat. Mm. But, but we think you're missing things. I do. I mean, say, I would like to do more destination type videos. Um, but I really need to know what you, the viewers, want to see. What do you want to know? Um, what kind of information do you want to know about the destinations? For me, the destination is the reason for the journey. Hmm. You know, if I didn't want to go somewhere, why would I just travel around unless I wanted to get somewhere where I wanted to see something? Um, what Travelling around for the sake of travelling around doesn't really do it for me. Mm. It is one of the reasons that um, we have a tendency to pick our journey times um, so that it's nicer for us. Um, mm. The journey, even though it's good video, <laughs> the journey of us being beaten to a pulp Yeah, it's comfortable enough to watch in an armchair. It's not quite so comfortable to be there and get beaten. <laughs> Easily happen. Um, we should point out, by the way, that we're in Belfast Lock. The marina is one mile that way. Um, but the reason we are sitting in our thermal gear is because the weather has turned rather badly, and it's not really all that nice, is it? Um, so today we could have. Uh, carried on with our journey um, but Beverly's inner music was sort of saying don't don't and mine wasn't quite as bad but even so I was concerned mm. purely because I knew that the wind would be going against tide and that never you know that always sort of concerns me shall we say <laughs> mm -hmm. but when we're going on a journey like this, um, I've got a saying, listen to your inner music. And basically, if there's if there's something in you that you're not comfortable with, if it doesn't quite sit right, if there's something you can't quite put your finger on, it's your subconscious telling you that, hang on a minute, maybe you should have another look at this. Maybe you just shouldn't do this thing that you're, you're contemplating. And I think this morning, Gaynor had slight disruptions of a gentle pastoral music symphony sort of thing, whereas I had the 1812 overture going off with cannons saying, don't do this. But we were in, we were in the same place. Both of us had some doubts about the journey. Mm. Um, so we decided not to make it. We have just sat out here in a little anchorage, which mm. um, is more about the destination, because even though it is literally a mile away from a marina, it feels a completely different type of destination. Well, it's got um, no pontoons. Well, there is no pontoons. There's nobody walking past the boat. Yeah. 
but also it has a different feel purely because we're at anchor yeah you know sometimes the destination is in the marina you don't get your anchor ball floating past <laughs> that is that true is that a tall ship i see coming around the point uh it certainly has a lot more uh, masts on it than um normal. looks like it's got yard arms it could be oh well we'll have a look ah you see that's one of the things about a destination you go places you don't normally go and you see things like this hmm and you know i do like different destinations i like but also as i say what i want to know is what we want you would like to see because for instance um when i was at um the fairy isles i went for a, a row around um the fairy isles and it was absolutely beautiful but because um i'm not too sure whether you the viewers want to take uh see that i didn't take my cameras now i think i should have because even if you don't want to see it it was a beautiful thing mm. and you know maybe I should share the beautiful places or the beautiful experiences that we had so I mean don't get me wrong I um, it's not that I dislike the journey there are some journeys I do dislike there are other journeys I absolutely love there are some of our sailing journeys where we have an absolutely beautiful sail and it's lovely and you never forget it And there are others there are other sales that you have that you never forget but for different reasons could easily happen i'm afraid bad good news is no news and bad news yeah you know, if it bleeds it leads is the saying isn't it <laughs> it is you know so the journeys where we are getting absolutely thumped are the journeys that other people find more interesting because we're but we're not that keen on those, are we, Bev? Yeah, and another thing I think you need to consider, and um, we, you and I have touched on this in private convos, is that there's more journeys than just the journey, and there are more destinations than physical destinations. For instance, you're on a journey to improve your sailing. I am on a journey to improve my but sailing. But have you reached the destination? I think I will never reach that particular destination. However, I do feel that I am... I wouldn't say approaching the end of the journey, but I do feel that I have improved immensely. For instance, even though things were going wrong at, at Carrick Fergus, because I've just done um, uh, uh, an entry into Carrick, and there was a lot of things that just were annoying, I can cope. You didn't do anything physically wrong. You I didn't, didn't do anything physically wrong. You didn't it, put a foot wrong. There's not a mark in the boat. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. But the it thing is... It just didn't go to plan. It didn't go to plan. But the thing is, I think was where... There, was, was there a plan? Well, it was getting to Carrick. That was the plan. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, is the fact that whereas before something like that would have really freaked me out and I would have been saying to you, can you take over? Yeah. You know... Yeah. I don't feel the need to do that now. Thank I God. can. <laughs> that is the journey I am on. I do feel that that is a journey worth sharing, um, because a lot of other people want to get to become better sailors, and even if it's just watching our mistakes, <laughs> sometimes you learn more from watching a mistake than you can from watching perfect. Do you know as we sit here talking about this? I'm not actually sure what the destination is. Mm. For me, at least. You know, you've got your destination. I'm thinking, well, she wants to go and do this and, and improve that and things like that. But I'm just trying to think what it is for me. And obviously, I want to be a better sailor, but um, I've always had this great problem in my life with people saying, oh, what's your favourite this and what's your favourite that? And I can never pick them out because I don't do favourites. Mm. Um, I think I've got a similar problem with journeys and destinations. Mm. You know, they are things that happen to me and things I do and I don't know I don't mean that in a passive way because mm. after all we do choose them we do I do think destinations are less fickle but I've always regarded destinations as a bit 
although they are the purpose for my journey, I've always regarded destinations as being places that are full of people. Mm. And therefore, by and large, they're full of people who are getting up in the morning, going to work, feeding their families, going to school, doing the sort of things I've always done, and you've always done, and you've always done. And therefore, to a certain extent, while the physical geography may change and the culture may change, at the end of the day, it can largely be about a lot of the same things. However, both of us like to connect to people. That's true. Um, you know, part of the reasons that we blog is that what we like to do is when we go to different places and see different things, then we like to connect to our viewers or talk to people. We certainly are not people who... I think that's more the reason for my journey. It's to meet the people. Hmm. The places are nice, nice to see them. There are some breathtaking places. Hmm. But at the end of the day, it's people. And that's part of who you want, what you want to do. Yeah. I think it's more for me, it's more about, it's more about meeting people and touching their lives and, and being part of, you know, seeing what they do and, and, and talking to them. Mm. Do the places matter? In a billion years we'll all be gone just like the dinosaurs. Well, they could have had a huge culture. They could have had cities and music and lights and things and nobody knows. So if it's not about the people that you're dealing with now, the people you're sharing things with now, who are alive now and the people who are coming along behind you, you can share things with, then what is it about? Mm. How's that for deeply philosophical? <laughs> I think we're going well off track on the journey and the destination, <laughs> but there you go. Speaking of journeys and things, that is a tall ship behind us. Yeah, and it's clearly making the journey to somewhere a bit less bumpy. 